Hello YouTube world. Welcome to another review. This one's going to be a small one. i5T EOS. Hopefully that's actually focused. I'm assuming it has. So let's get on with it. So first topic, ergonomics. It's a good size. Little rubber button on the back. Doesn't tail stand. I don't like that. It can also clip onto your hat. It's very, very doable. Have a look at that. Turn it on. Yeah, it does okay. So why would you want a torch when you've got so many rechargeable options? Why would you want just a standard AA battery like this one here? Emergencies, cyclones, fires, etc. So what happens in an emergency? Obviously the power goes out. Best option? Grab your batteries from a pack, wherever you find it, at a servo, in your house, in your car, throw it in, you're good to go. Now, of course, you might reach for your rechargeable options to begin with, but when you've got no option to recharge them, then you go for the packet batteries. That's where these torches are very good. So, light output, 30 lumens on low, 300 lumens on high. More than enough, guys. 300 lumens. I reckon that's a good, that's, that's about a pretty good output to have comfortable walking conditions. And the reality is 30 lumens is pretty good too, but you want to use 30 lumens if you're in a position where you've got no other batteries and you just need to make it last. Well, you know what? It'll get you out of trouble. No problem. One thing about it, when you turn it on, it actually lights up slowly and dims slowly. It's supposed to keep your night vision intact. I don't know about that. I think it's way too quick for something like keeping your night vision intact. In actual fact, it annoys me because you're like, did I turn it on? Why is it taking so long to cycle? And then, you know, you turn it on and it sort of after a second, it just ramps up and you go, oh, okay. Now, I will show you some um, beam shots of how this thing works and uh, we'll talk about it once it's done. So uh, what you'll notice when you look at the beam, it's quite a focused center spot and it's very diffused around the edges as it tapers off into the spread. The spread is minimal, but that's okay. I think it's actually a very balanced, good size, usable torch just for everyday use. I think the beam pattern is ideal, so I really like it. Uh, very easy to use, obviously, guys, you know, two presses, one, one gives you high, one gives you low. Only a thumb switch on the back. Hey, look, it's fine. It, it works well. Uh, as I said to you, if you've got a rechargeable torch with all that power, well, why would you bother using this? I'll also say that the tint on it is actually pretty good, so that's a reason. If you want to be easy on the eyes, I like the tint on this. It's quite, quite a warm colour. I'm looking forward to testing out the new uh, the Warrior Turbo. That's going to be... a uh, a big release for Olight. So 
look forward to uh, putting that one out for you guys at some point. In the meantime, I'll uh, throw in a few little cookie and millie photos slash videos as per usual. Before we go, what do you need to remember? Give me the thumbs up. Give me the subs up. Comment down below and see you, that's you, on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye now.